Welcome to the Microsoft 365 demo video show, whatever we call the series, doesn't really matter. My name is Sasa Yuvonen. I'm a principal product manager for Microsoft. And with me here is Sarah. And Sarah is going to talk about something really, really, really cool uh, on AI powered capabilities within portals. So making sure that the AI and Copilot is directly within your consumption when you're using the portals and tooling within a SharePoint. Really cool stuff. Now, Sarah is here uh, with uh, with Birch as well. So Sarah, yeah. we'll do a quick intro on, on who you are and what's your role? Hi, uh, I'm Sarah. I'm a PM on the SharePoint Pages team. And today we're going to be showing you a feature we're working on sections with Copilot. So this allows you to take a prompt when you're on a page, create a section, it adds web parts, it adds content. You just have to click a button. And I'm joined today by my supervisor. This is Sapphire. Um, so she will probably fly off at some point, but for now she's here yep. to say hi. Yep. Um, and together we will be showing you smart sections today. <laughs> Excellent. And and just to recap again, the smart sections is so how would I put this? The the idea of having uh the intranet and portals as smart with AI means that you don't actually need to flip between the copilot or your whatever other AI service. You'll basically have the AI directly within the portal and directly within the pages. And then you can reference a files as a source files. Is it that the yeah. case? Oh yeah, exactly. So um, we don't want to think about it as copilot is a thing that's off to the side that you have to go find. It's you know going to help you where you are within your authoring journey. Like we've, yep. we've heard the feedback that we have a ton of web parts that our canvas is very complicated um, and it takes a lot of expertise to be able to use. But with features like this, we're trying to really lower that barrier to entry. Like yeah. as long as you can type in what you want in a box, maybe reference a file, we can do the transformation process for you. Um, so relatedly, we rolled out uh, Page Copilot, um, I think uh, within the last year. Um, yep. to do that at the page level. But then that brings the question, okay, so I made this whole page, but there's more stuff I want to add. How do I do that? So that's where sections with Copilot or colloquially internally smart sections comes in um, yep. to, to help you add that content once you're already on your page. And again, then the smart section that the Copilot is there to help. It doesn't actually give you the content that pops that on behalf of you. You are in control uh, of the Copilot, right? So you, you basically get a inspiration and starting point you are still as a human uh, who controls the output. Yeah, you can sort of think of it as like, um, based on the context that we know, we are giving our best go at filling in a template for you. Um, so rather than you having to pull that information, um, sections with Copilot is like, hey, I see what you're doing on this page. I feel like what would be helpful based on what you have to have next is this section. So we're gonna suggest that for you. You yeah. can take it or leave it, um, but, it also allows you to fill in um, additional web parts that you may not have thought about or know about um, yep. right off the bat without having to drag and drop them yourselves or know which web parts we offer as a platform. Yep, makes perfect sense. I, I guess let's jump to the light demo because it's easiest yes. to understand how smart it is and how does it actually work. So let me uh, change the mode a bit so, so we can actually see your screen, uh, Sarah. And Sarah is ready okay. to go in edit mode. Awesome. All right, so right now I am on a page that I've written about sections and Copilot, actually using the, the page level authoring Copilot. Um, and it has most of what I want here, but I'm gonna try and add some more content. So right here you can see I'm going to go to add a section with Copilot and I get this opening up here. So immediately I'm offered this box that tells me to describe a section that I would like to create, but Smart Sections has also gone ahead and offered me um, some different suggestions on what I could uh, make the section about. So I'm going to click one of the suggestions. Um, I Since it's about Smart Sections, um, let's see. Yeah, I'll add, a, I'll add a meeting recording that we recently did and click Create. So based on that information alone, this is going to go ahead and generate um, either one or several sections for me. Um, so it's taking all of my data. It's looking in the background like, you know, what what does Sarah have that's about smart sections that we could use? Um, and then it's choosing different templates that might be the best fit for that information. So it'll take a sec, but it's thinking. <laughs> 
And obviously the, the time it takes is dependent on the source material, also the length of the page, also the context and everything else um, as it's actually generating the content based on what it was provided as an input. Yes. Um, okay. So here you have, based on that information alone, we have some stock images, we have key highlights of smart sections and information about our testing process. So this is pretty good, but um, I would like more, I, I kind of want to see another, another version of it. So I'm going to click this button that says regenerate suggestion. So what this does is essentially it's going to give me another option. Um, sometimes smart sections will do this for you off the bat. It'll go ahead and offer multiple ones that it thinks is a good fit, but you can always prompt it to do that as well. So we'll give it a sec and then it'll do that. Um, that's actually really cool. You as an end user, you can basically say, nah, I don't like this. Give me another one. Give me, Give me another, another one. one. Give me another one. Give me another exactly. one. It's just really cool. Yeah. And the cool thing when we say, Give you another one. Okay. You can see this has, this doesn't look at all like the first section. Actually, it gave me two other ones. So it yep. gave me that. And it gave me this. Yep. So completely different vibes, uh, similar information, but you know, you can see it's structured differently. We have more more key points here versus less key points here yep. um, and different background images and layouts. So I, I think this one's my favorite, um, but I would like it to tell me a little bit about the Smart Sections feature crew. So I'm going to go ahead and I see this box here. It says, what do you want to change? We have some suggestions for you to make it shorter or make it more professional. Honestly, we're still working on the, getting the best suggestions here, but I'm going to say add a picture of a, let's say add a picture of a brain and information about the smart sections feature crew. Okay. Um, so let's see. And, what it and does. now it doesn't change the layout. It includes or change. So it doesn't give you a new one. It basically modifies the existing one, which is really cool. Yeah. So what it's done is it adds this to the prompt that generated this specific section, and it's going to give yep. you a new section that takes that feedback into consideration. Yeah, makes sense. Um, and every so I, I'm curious to see what it's going to do. It's a surprise every time, um, which is makes this exciting. Yep. All right. So now we have a tag that says a picture of a brain has been added along with information about the smart sections feature crew. Let's see what it did. Cool, we got some neurons. And if we scroll down, here you have a people web part added um, with people who are involved in the smart sections project. Yep. Um, so the, the way that it's doing this is it has access to um, my personal data. So like OneDrive and my meetings and my Microsoft data, everything that like Copilot chat has access to. And it's using that information to synthesize it into a SharePoint section. Um, so. We're still working on this. We want to make sure that the information it pulls is always correct. So you're going to want to read through it. Um, but it's a great starting point as opposed to just starting with a blank section. True, true. And and I, I, I love the fact that you don't need to move to the copilot again on the chat window and then do things. You actually have the copilot in the flow of the work uh, directly yeah. within that section. So. Yes. Yeah. Um, and if you get a result that you don't like, you can tell us that you don't like it. Um, that'll yep. help us make it better, but I'm going to go ahead and add this to my page. Cool. So here we go. We even have it labeled illustration of a brain. Um, and we have information about smart sections. Yeah. And it, and of course it's fully editable. It's not the AI who is publishing on behalf of you. You are oh, still yeah. in control uh, on, on publishing the content. Yes. Um, so I go in and I edit this as I want. I can go and I can add another smart section. Um, and I just continue my authoring process as normal. Yeah, really cool and incredibly powerful. What kind of source files do we actually, there's the add the content functionality there. So we can actually yeah. select uh, any files. So what kind of files are supported do you sure. know, on top of your head? So when you add content, you are um, what we call grounding the, the, the section. So it's saying, yeah. hey, you have all this information you can pull from, but specifically focus on this. Um, so this can help you do things like um, convert, 
like a Word doc to a part of a page. Um, like, oh, here we have that. But here, let's look at the content types here. So we have loop components, we have Word documents, we have PowerPoints, um, but we also have meeting related things. So yep. here you can see some, some meetings that I had in the last week. Um, and we can ground it. If we click on any of these, it'll ground in the meeting recording. So this yeah. is really useful if you like had, you know, a great, dis if Vesa, you and I had a great discussion about something and I'm like, shoot, I, I just need no, that I information do. on a page. Yes. We can help you do that. Yes. Really good. Actually, that's really good. And and you could put in, you can easily do the, the meeting summaries and all of that as a page is and include that in the context. Yes, that's actually really cool. Awesome, awesome capability. Cool. Uh, I guess that sums up the feature. Now, just yeah. the kind of, uh, before we start share, uh, I'm putting on a, on a ad hoc spot here. Now, now that I've created or you created or Copilot created the section for you, can I save that for reuse in the future? and then use it as a starting point in the future, future for me? Or is that something which we would potentially look for in a future roadmap? I'm just thinking out loud, that, oh, this is beautiful section. I just yeah. want to save it for myself. Yeah, for absolutely. Usage. So that's not currently a feature we have in scope, but it is something that yeah. we continue to think about as we think about continuing to grow and change your template library. Like if yeah. I really like a specific section that I have, I would love to be able to add that to templates that I can easily access later. Exactly. So that's something we're thinking about. I mean, at least at the surface level, one thing that you could do right now is you could save this entire page as a template and then you go reuse it. But Good Good note, note taken and it's feedback that we've heard. And as we continue to grow our platform or yeah. are continuing to take into consideration. But it's, you can already save the page as a template. So that's a great starting point uh, yeah. already. So. Really, really cool. What else is on the pipeline? So, um, is that how are we? Is there anything about we can talk about the next steps on this feature? Uh, it's already incredibly good, uh, but uh, clearly, it's getting probably will improve it, uh, oh, yeah. getting more in inspiration on it. Uh, any details what we can share? Sure. Um, well, one thing I can tell you. So, this was shown at M365, um, but already since then, it's improved immensely. Um, one thing the, the feature crew and I do is every week we get together for one hour and we try to break it. So we put in ridiculous prompts. We put it in situations that we don't think anyone would ever run into just to see what happens. And um, it's constantly hilarious. But what it does is it helps us incrementally improve the feature and make sure that we're finding all of those edge cases. Yeah. Um, so the first round of shipping for this is going to happen later this summer. Um, so you can expect to see this later this year. Um, and then after we ship the first version, one of the things that we want to do is offer more file control. So in version one, you can see right here, you can add files, you can ground in it. But we really want to get more granular. We want to say like, hey, here's the files that we're pulling. What do you think of these? To make sure that the information that goes on the page is becoming as accurate as possible. Um, when we think about authoring with AI, we really want it to be a collaborative process. Like you're, you're using AI to pull information from elsewhere and bring it onto your page as quickly as possible. It's synthesizing more than it's creating. Um, and we want to make that process more transparent. Makes Perfect sense. And and of course, this is a journey uh, for every single customer. Please use those thumbs up, thumbs down uh, oh, okay. feedback. Uh, <laughs> that's super, super important. Um, and be, you know, be open and honest and give us more feedback you can provide, the better the, the service and functionalities will always come. And also, it's okay to write feedback in comments in this video or in a oh, blog post. Uh, really good channels as well. Uh, Sarah and the feature crew uh, are definitely looking at those as well. Yeah. Cool. I guess that sums up uh, the video then. Uh, great demo, great feature, uh, awesome work on, on on getting again the Copilot and AI directly uh, within the page. I, I just love that rather than having as a separate service, but put it right. in the buttons and actions and all of that uh, because that makes it makes us much more efficient for sure. Definitely. But that's it for now. Thank you everybody for watching and listening or, or uh, whatever is the chosen uh, pattern. But thank you, Sora. Really cool to have you on the show again. Yeah, thanks, Lisa. Cheers. Bye-bye.